Well, I selected Hamer Hall as my favourite heritage building because, because of the fact that it was renovated recently and that sometimes a renovation can destroy the original purpose or the, the, the beauty of a building, but in fact this renovation has enhanced it and, and brought the building into, into our time. I think when it was created originally, the idea of going to the theatre, to seeing a concert was a very much a big night out, you put on your, great, your glam rags and you came. But, now the experience of going to the theatre is very much just part of our lives, you know, it's part of coming to Melbourne, you go in to see a concert, you go out and eat. And what the renovation's done is it's opened it out to, to Melbourne. It, I don't know if it's particular to me because I have a terrible sense of direction or if it's, it's the experience that everyone has, I always get lost in this hall. I never know where I am. It's partly to do with the fact that it's a circle. You're wandering around and you know before you know it, you're back in the same spot. And there's a lot of escalators and everything. So sometimes I come along those leather walls, which I love, you know, those really eccentric padded brownish leather. But if someone says, find those leather walls, I would never know how to get back there. I also must say that sitting in the seat is my favourite spot in the thing, because when I started on the trust, that was one of the first things we had to do as trust members. We all had to come in on uh, a day and we had to sit on, there was about seven or eight seats in a row, and we had to sit on each seat for five minutes because we were deciding which seat would get the tender to create the seats for Hamer Hall. And we had to find out which was the best, most comfortable uh, seat to be in it. And so we all chose these guys who made these seats. So when I sit on them, I think, yeah, these are pretty comfortable. I think this was the right decision. I think the original uh, concept was that the whole Hamer Hall would be underground and that from the theatre's building you could look over to Melbourne and this would, and the whole concept of the interior design was that you were going down into these caves and seeing these jewels on stage and around you and everything. And because of it's on swampland and the whole thing was sinking that they had to, to, they had to pull it up and put these big steel structures and stuff just to keep it from sinking. And so I think, I think that is why we got the sort of architecture that we did, just this disc that should have been sort of underground. Saying that, now 30 years on, I think it's an amazing structure and I really, and now with that glass panel on the outside, I really love that architecture, that big disc, and it's very unlike anything that we have in Melbourne.